Okay, so the last thing we did was we extruded this block, um, re-extruded this block at 0.5 thick. So now, as I just said on the other video, you go back here to your block one, and we look at it, and oh, well, nothing's changed. Well, the reason nothing's changed is because we didn't save our changes. It doesn't automatically save. You have to tell it. So, for example, go back to our block two, and here, we just need to save this. So we're going to go up here to the little file. Actually, we're going to go right beside it to save. It's going to say user saved. You go OK. Now go back to our block one. And notice nothing still has changed. However, you're going to see this little exclamation point here. This little exclamation point here. If we hover over this, it says the component is out of date. To update, get latest in the design workspace. I'm just going to go up here. We're going to click on this little piece up above and get the latest version. And there it is. Now it's updated. It is perfectly, it fits in there the right way. Um, in the height at least. But now notice the width and the length of it is not correct. So, I'm going to let you do this on your own. And I'm going to pause the video once I'm done explaining this. And I want you to fix this to make it fit. So you're going to use the inspect tool. And, and, and measure what the width and the length of this slot is. So with the length of the slot to see what you need to change your block to, to, to make it fit correctly. So again, I'm going to pause. You can pause the video too. Don't watch me do this, but you try to do it on your own. Measure that, go back to block two and change what you need to change there. Okay. So hopefully you've done this on your own and you're not just watching my video to do this and you figured it out on your own. So to do this, the first thing we need to do is we need to measure how wide and how, how, how long that slot slot is or how wide and how deep however you want to say it so we're going to go up there and do inspect we're going to grab our little ruler um, again i want to measure just this length of that line there not not of that one but of this one see where it's highlighted so that is 2.5 inches okay so 2.5 inches of that dimension i'm going to come down here below this is the way i would do it, at least and measure that line right there and that one's 1 1.5 so the two measurements we need are 1.5 and 2.5 so we're going to go back to our block 2. And this, remember last time we changed the extrusion. We don't want to change the extrusion. We want to change the sketch. So we're going to go to our sketch and change this to so 2 inches to 1.5. And instead of 3 inches, we're going to double click on it. And we're going to change that to 2.5. And hit enter. So we changed to 1.5 and 2.5 on those two. We're going to finish our sketch. Changes the block there. Now remember, the step that we did before is you have to click on the save. Oops, I did not click on save. Click on save. Save that. Now go back to our version 1, or a block. And notice this little thing's telling me it's out of date again. So hit the little thing to update it up here. Click. It updates that, and that is amazing. That looks beautiful. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Okay. Um, the last little tiny tidbit with this is... You need to submit this um, online um, to student view the way we usually submit our drawings. So I want you to do a, a screen capture of that. But <clears throat> not so much on this part, but once we get to the little bit more complex things, it's very hard when everything's the same color grayscale for me to see the differences in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some color to this. We're not going to go and try to add materials right now. Don't want to go that in depth with it. But we are just going to go up here to where it says inspect. Click that down arrow. And component color cycling toggle. Click it, and it should change that to different colors for you. <laughs> for whatever reason, mine did this last hour, and I don't know why. I'm going to have to figure out what I did wrong. But they should be two different colors here. Mine changes all to the same color. If yours changes to the same color too, don't worry about it. I'm going to figure out what I did wrong. Um, but you should have two different shades of color, one pink, one yellow, or one yellow, one green, whatever it may be. So you have that. Again, if it's one color, great. If it's two color, is better yet. <clears throat> do a nice little screenshot of that, a screen capture, using your screen capture down here below. We've done that before. Um, a snipping, and, and then submit that to student view, and that's great. All right, good luck.